Welcome back to Carefree TV. Chelsea have lit, just drawn one all with Southampton away, and I'm I don't know how to feel about it. First of all, I thought the first half was you know as bad as we played all season. I think that Southampton absolutely bossed the game. They had everything you know under control. They knew what they were doing, and I did, I did see a defeat coming, one especially when Mane went through and scored after a minute. And then second half, each it was just wave after wave after wave of pressure by us, but. We just couldn't break through, and I said, "Look, six. If we were to get six points out of Southampton and Tottenham, that, that's kind of unrealistic, but it'd be fantastic. Four points, a lot more realistic, but and so obviously, and you know, I'd still be happy with it. So we still, you know, I still think. Um, so we have to go and beat Tottenham now, pretty much, because I'm a little disappointed. I feel that." I'm going to single out, single out one particular player who um, f for blame for this, and that is um, Felipe Luis at left back. He had an absolute nightmare. And I'll tell you what, the first goal, this is going to go on notice, but did you, look, watch how far he is away from John Terry when John Terry makes a mistake. If that's Dave in there, the ball goes past John Terry, at least he's there to pressure. Luis is miles away, and you know, at least if, at least if you're going forward... You'd expect to, you know, offer something. His crossing to date was embarrassing. It was shit. It was fucking awful. I mean, think did he did he complete a cross today? I don't think he did. And Costa had nothing to really feed off. And I feel that you know Mane's goal was fucking shit. I mean, um, Mikel gives the ball away. He's not good enough, is he? He get he had one or two good games this season, but you know if we're going to buy anywhere in January, I would strengthen, you know that I. would Try and buy a backup centre defence in mid, or use. I'd rather see Loftus cheek to be honest, because Mikel, you know, he's not good enough for me, um, and that's just, you know, that's the truth really. And then, um, so that was, you know, and then Mar it was a great finish from Mane. Don't take nothing away from it to our coming out. And I thought, you know what, Southampton deserved it 100%. And then we get a goal in half time, and it was the one moment of quality in that first half. Diego Costa holds the ball up, ball goes back to Fabgas who clips. Like an insanely good pass through to through to um uh as a as a cuts in and he does something which we've been begging him to do for about a year and a half now and that's be more direct. He actually cuts in, fires at bottom corner, one one, and going into half time I think that's the, that must be the most undeserved goal we will ever score because first half we were shit. We come out second half, Sherla comes off, he was also poor, and we you know it's just attack after attack after attack, but. It kept breaking down. We couldn't get it into the box. Felipe Luis, as I said, his crossing was terrible. And also, people say, like, okay, take this into account. I'm a probably Cesar Azpilicueta or Dave's biggest fan ever. I think, you know, it's unbelievable how we know he's, you know, he's he's not a twat. And that makes sense. Like, so often you see the foreign players come over and they have, like, you know, drive around their expensive cars to go out and do all that, you know, all that ball, basically just show off a bit. He's not a twat and he's a f footballer that's quite rare so um that's why i like him anyway and i so you know i'm gonna be a bit biased this but i felt luis crossing was poor and also people say yeah he offers something going forward which dave doesn't okay i how but the thing is though because he's getting forward that means hazard has to get back a bit more and so it cancels it out we see the best out of hazard when asper equate is there the whole time doing his job and then you just see and then Hazard's it free to go forward a bit more. When that's why um you know in the uh well the um uh, semi final last year when Ashley Cole played left back he went forward a bit more. Um Hazard was used to was used to staying up, you know, be uh, being allowed to stay up there and move freely so he didn't track his marker. So Hazard had to track back, he lost a bit of his attacking play through that because he had to cover for Luis. And I remember taking you know, Luis <coughs> Some people are convinced, but I'm not convinced by him yet. Great, he's usually good going forward. He's usually good at crossing. He can take a good free kick every now and then, but for me, nah, he's not a first choice fullback. Um, there's, you know, the pen. Now, Favreau has got booked for diving for, you know, what Gary Neville thought was a penalty, and yes, it was a penalty. I'm going to openly say that, but I'm not pissed about it because that is our player's fault for diving in the past sort of month whole fucking month we've been diving right 
And then now the referees got it in their head that everything we do in the box is a dive. If our players were honest, if our players are proper footballers, not cheats, you know, that would have been a penalty. You know, if Southampton had got that chance, it would have been a penalty because Southampton players don't dive. So that you know, we've deserved that. We've actually deserved that because I think you know Gary Cahill diving, Ivanovic diving, um, you know, also from last season, you know, Ramirez dives, Oscar dives. Because of that, we've paid, paid the price, and I have no complaints about it. And I yes, it, we may look back at it and think, right, that's a big moment in the title race because obviously City they're winning two 0 against Burnley at home. There's no way they're coming Burnley are coming back from that. But you know. Um, you know, I'm going to say, you know what, we deserved it. And I think the key moment of the game was when there was a poor back pass. Diego Costa was running through and he slipped over. We saw a lot of slipping in that Southampton penalty box, which is annoying. I don't know whether they watered it at half time to put us off, but whatever. You know, it's just frustrating, isn't it? But Southampton, it's, it's not like the Sunderland draw or the Newcastle defeat, because we drew with a good side. We drew with a side who might get top four this season. We drew with, you know, a very decent team. I was annoyed against Sunderland a lot more, because not only did we not play well, it was we didn't play well against a very poor opposition. Just like Newcastle, they shit. I don't know how they beat us. So, you know, moving on to the Tottenham game next week. I'll do a preview for it tomorrow. I am, of course, going, as I've mentioned, probably about a million times, which is great, because... I don't know if I'm the only one that feels this, but when I'm not at a match, whether it be home or away, or even, you know, just any game I'm not at, I, and I'm watching it on TV or the computer or whatever, I feel, like, guilty that I'm not there. I don't know if I'm the only person who feels that, but I, I want to be at every match possible. Even, like, the Burnley away game right at the start of the season, I was on holiday in Australia with my family. I was on like, a different continent, right, when that game was being played. Yeah, I still, you know, felt guilty not being in the stands singing. So... Yeah, I'll be there against Tottenham. It's, you know, we always make a lot of noise at three-point lane, so hopefully we'll get three points in that. I'll see you later. Tell me what you thought of the game. I love your comments. You'll, you, know, you all seem to know what you're talking about when it comes to football. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? But my general, to sum the game up, frustrating, but a hard earned point. See you later. Keep the blue flag flying. And we're still top of the league no matter what City do. We're, still, we're top of the league at New Year, which is a good sign. Alright, bye.